Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are taking a look at this. This is a 7-in-1 shouldering iron kit from Hillgrove. Apparently they claim to be an Indian company and all the stuff that you will find in, inside is going to be made in India product. So without any further delay let's just take it, uh, take things out and see what we get in this uh, simple shouldering iron kit. So this is uh, the box. It's an original box as you can see the logo Hillgrove. And the first thing that you get to see is going to be a small uh, shoulder wick. They claim it to be about uh, 30 centimeter. So let me just put this uh, back like that. That's number one thing. The other thing that you will get is uh, some shoulder flux. This is 15 grams and as you can see it also says made in India. Let me take this out. And the flux looks decent quality. It smells like flux. So flux. Uh, you get a small uh, line tester, it's a very small line tester but you're getting in this and you will also get the soldering iron itself, you will get a soldering iron stand, you will get a small tweezer to grab things and finally you will get about 5 meter long soldering wire. This is about 0.71 millimeter. And last thing is, of course, a pencil style extra bit. So this is a 25 watt shouldering iron. So let's just keep the box aside and see how everything looks. So this is the shouldering iron. Let me just take this out. It came in this plastic casing. And again on this, it says made in India. I bought this from Amazon and I paid about 250 rupees for this whole pack. So this is the shouldering iron. The plastic is not that uh, good quality. The finish on the uh, plastic is not that quality although the plastic uh, feels decent. The cables is also decent. This is a 25 watt shouldering iron and it came with a pre-installed uh, spade bit as you can see and you can remove this and instead you can install a pencil style bit like this one. So this is how it looks. So let me just reinstall the spade bit. So you get the shouldering iron. Let's open this up and see what is the length of the cable that you get with this uh, shouldering iron. So this is about uh, just about one meter long cable. As you can see, it comes with a three pin plug. And this is the length of the shouldering iron. Let me measure it. So if I me measure it with a uh, scale, the length of the shouldering iron is coming out to be about eight inches or 20 centimeter. So the shouldering iron feels decent. Here is your hook. The other thing you get is a small tweezer that you can use to grab a small SMD components which is helpful when grabbing some small LEDs. Recently I was trying to repair the uh, tube light which is what I'm using to illuminate this video and I was uh, having to flick the LED off of the board. With this I will be able to easily grab the LED off of any board and solder it without any problem. So that's a good addition. So that's one, that's two, three four five six and seven so overall you're getting seven pieces and i forgot one an extra bit so this is an 18 one i'm surprised because this wasn't supposed to be included in my package but i got this for free so that's a plus and we also get a st uh, stand with this so let me just take this out and assemble it now previously what I was doing was I was basically using some cardboard boxes and I would put my shouldering iron on top of the cardboard box and I accidentally burned my hand as well and I also burned the my previous shouldering iron wire. The shouldering iron still works but uh, I didn't want to take any more chances again so I bought this. This is the cheapest that you can start with. Apparently it didn't come with any sponge so I'll have to use my own. So this is how you will mount this. So let me just mount this up and then we'll see how it works so if you're just starting out with shouldering i think you should have a stand stand is a must in my opinion i thought stand wouldn't be needing i wouldn't be needing a stand but once i started doing a couple of projects i realized that a stand is very very important because uh, you don't have a lot of things to put your shouldering iron on i was using some wooden blocks sometimes cardboard boxes and i was burning the wooden block and whatnot each and every time I was taking my shouldering iron out 
so this is the cheapest option I mean, I mean look at this all of this we got for like 250 rupees sitting in my house so this is how the looks sturdy enough so let me put the shouldering iron on and see how it looks and now I don't have to worry about uh, I don't have to worry about putting the shouldering iron here and there so that's really nice you'll also get this uh, 5 meter long uh, 0.71 uh, shouldering wire and the tweezers let me just turn the shouldering iron on okay so let's uh, turn our shouldering iron on so i've got the extension here let me just plug that in so it's plugged in now let's see if there is any led or not so let me just turn this on so as you can see there's a small red color led hopefully that will tell us that the led is now uh, working that the soldering iron is now heating up and I can feel the element warming up let's put that in the holder so while our soldering iron is heating up let us open our shoulder wire this is a 0.71 millimeter shoulder wire that we got in this package so here as you can see I am trying to solder this micro USB connector on this emergency light. This is the female micro USB connector. So I've already put the connector in place and I'm going to be using the same soldering iron and the solder wire that we got. And as you can see the wire that came with the soldering iron is very very nice. So I've done with the first wire. Let me do the second wire as well. And as you can see it flows really well. The soldering iron is working decently. So I'm just making sure that the connections are firm or not. So because after soldering the wire was really hot. So I'm using uh, the tweezer that came in the packaging, which is also a little handy. Previously I was using a small plier. Uh, so I'm just making sure that it is completely soldered. Bottom wire as well. And I'm just reflowing that once again. So as you can see it is working really well the wire is soldered so i've got my power bank here let me connect a micro usb cable and previously i couldn't use a micro usb cable on this emergency light and now as you can see after soldering the connector i am able to use this emergency light with a normal power bank so it's a decent purchase in my opinion so there we go guys this was my video on this uh hill grove the cheapest soldering iron that i was able to find on the internet and i've been using this for more than a year now that is correct it's been more than a year since i bought this and as you can see the tip has become a little black which is normal for any soldering iron the stand is working fine uh, the other tip has also turned a little black which is also normal so i've used this for a couple of projects and it has worked really well for me i i was really happy with the cable uh, the soldering wire that came with this so overall this is a decent soldering iron uh, the wick was not very good the wick i as you can see i didn't use much as you can see uh, it didn't work really well for me so i was not impressed with the wick but for about 250 i'm not sure for how much i bought this when i bought this one year ago but it has lasted me really well and by the way you don't get these uh, uh, zip ties and brush i added this with my own so this was my video on this cheapest soldering iron from the hill grove company thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye